You okay? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need something? You need some water or something? Huh? You need water? Yeah. Water? Yeah? All right, give me one second. I'm going to grab them. Huh? You want some water? All right. Matt, what's up? So y'all see what we've been over here trying to help this lady. She's just going through. Justin, what's up, brother? Joanna, Michelle, Latina, Sean. Where you at, Sean? I'm here, brother. Uh, send me a message and I'll, I'll meet up with you. So this is what we're dealing with. We've just been over here with this lady for a little while. Uh, she's... Here you go. You want me to open it for you? Look. Here's some water. Look, look. Yeah, right yeah. here, right? Can you hold it or no? Yes, yes, yes. Look, you drop your necklace on the floor. Can you hold it? You got it? Okay. All right. Take a sip. not doing the best um, so she's uh you know I gave her what's up Marlita uh, I've been sitting here with her for yes Ashley absolutely for probably about a half an hour. Um, thank you, Glenda. And uh, she's sort of been in this state. Thank you, Louise, in New Zealand. Um, she, it's almost as if she's having a dream. Q Love, what's up and welcome. Do me a favor, y'all, please hit that like button. We got 120 in the chat and we got 14 likes. Please hit that like button. That's how we uh, we get more people in the chat. Please and thank you. Absolutely, Joanna. I, I try to be as aware as possible. Thank you, Charlene. I did have an awesome birthday. Um, so, yeah, she she's going through it. It's almost as if she's in... Red-handed B, Melissa, Ashley. Um, it's almost as if she's in like a, a dream state where she's like dreaming. She's yelling out stuff. She's yelling out help. She really, I, I talked to her though and it takes a while to answer. It's almost like it has to get through the fog of her mind. Exactly, Kerr. Exactly. So, Scooter, what's up? Heather. No, she's not throwing up though. I just gave her some water. See, and the, the water's on the floor. She couldn't even hold it. Um, you know, it's easy. It, exactly. 007 underbelly. Donald, thank you, Donald. Um, it's almost like she's possessed. You're right. That's sort of what it's like. Um. So she can, you know, she can, she can, she knows what's going on. Uh, something's going on over here. Look at this.
I gotta go around the corner real quick. So that's what, you know, that's what goes on down here uh, all the time. Thankfully, the guy that he was sort of arguing with, I thought he was sort of out of it. He's not out of it, though. So, you know, he's still with it. I sort of thought it was, you know, a situation of somebody being clean, sort of bullying somebody that was getting high. I'm gonna spin around the block and um, come back and check on this woman. So, thank God that she is where she is. Yeah, you ain't lying, Rich. So, so she's, listen, she's, no, she, she's right behind us, but she's in a good spot. Um, that's, to be honest with you, that's, you know, that's, a good spot for her to be people might not you know people that don't know Kensington might not know that but that is like a very good spot for her to be because there's not a lot of traffic there um, fortunately I'm gonna go down to Ave and then turn back around and just go check on her yeah, Kevin. So where she's at, people might be like, "Yo, that's a bad." Sp that's actually probably like one of the better spots she could be at, because there's not really people there. That you know, and there's there was literally three, three, um, you know, three or four cop cars right across the street. So. Tommy D, what's up, Tommy D? So I, I heard the guy was arguing. They were arguing about, um, you know. No, I didn't, Justin. I didn't. I was just, uh, just driving. I, I wish, Justin. I wish. So I hope everybody's doing well tonight. No, it was dope, Justin. All right, Marlita. As y'all can see, it's a busy. Send Cal, thank you. Thank you, brother. It's, it's a very busy night. Um, John, John, what's up? Please hit that like button, y'all. We got 180 in the chat, and we got 60 likes. Daryl, what's up? Blackpool, UK. Daryl. Please hit those like buttons. Look at Amber again. Yeah, so it's, you know, there, there's a lot of people out. It's probably the weather. It isn't hot. It isn't cold. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I honestly, I can't do this all day and night because I, it gets to be too much. Um, exactly, Rich. She's definitely better there than she is on Allegheny. Um, but we were... 
gonna be heading home and then uh we had a, a change of plans australia what's up australia No problem, John, John. Yeah, exactly. This is, you know, it's, there's different spots that are better. I don't know, Combat Sosa. I got to see. Andrew. Michael, what's up, South Carolina? Ohio. Yes, welcome to everybody, new viewers. Thank you. A hundred percent. Pete, what's up? Summer days, what's up? Yeah, you gotta want help to get it. You know, that that, that goes with anything. Just think about it. Ain't nothing falling on our laps. Nothing. You know, ain't nothing gonna fall on our laps. If you can't find the op what is it? If, if the opportunities aren't coming to you, you make the opportunities. Yep. I don't know if that's how it goes. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, funny. Joanna. Yes. <laughs> we we have to, you know. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, Billy? Tara. That's the woman I am. She's funny. My post, she's gonna know. She's gonna be like, "What's up?" That's the one that I said came to Airbnb. Uh -huh. That's one of them. There was three of them. Hey, what's up? <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> what you mean, oh God? How you doing? I'm good. You staying out of trouble? And pull up and say what's up to you. Oh, wow, wow. Damn. So, so there's my wife. Oh, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Very pretty, Good. very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Yeah, uh, um, what I you mean, up to? I need three dollars. I mean, is, is it okay? I you how to spend. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't ask. I wouldn't ask. I wouldn't ask. What you up to? You staying out of trouble, man? I'm trying to get where we at. My daughter's going to Harvard Law School. I remember you were telling Harvard me. Harvard Law School. That's I gotta go to that. Yeah. Harvard Law School. Yeah. So tonight's my last. This is it. I make my money, get well, and I'm going. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be out here. I actually thought you were my kid's father. That's what I said, oh, God. Oh, okay. You thought I was... <laughs> so you thought I was your kid's father at first? That's why... That's what I said, oh, God, no. I can't hide nowhere. But yeah. I know you are now. Okay, go for yes. it. Yes. Um, so you said you're about to... Go to detox. Go to detox. I was going to take, like, something with me and tuck it, but that no. just slows down the process. Yeah. I figure if I can stick out here and make it through, and there, they'll make sure I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's not going to be the best thing, but, I figure but it's going to be the best thing. If I go through 
excruciating pain, then somehow that'll make me remember. Yeah. Somehow I forgot. Yeah. Mm. Do you, uh, Panda, you, do you know a girl named Panda Ashley? I do. Asian girl? She said to tell you hello. Oh, okay. Um, so you said your daughter's about to go to Harvard, right? Harvard Law, Law School. Law School. And you said it's time. Yeah. I miss graduation. Uh -huh. I miss college. I can't miss Harvard. Yeah, no. You're missing stuff that we can't really get back, right? When we miss stuff with our children. The biggest thing is my son, my oldest son's 30. He finally had a baby, three months old, and it passed away. I don't speak to him, but being out here is not going to make us closer. But their father's not in the picture, so somebody has to be there for him. They don't yeah. have a mother, they don't have a father, they just lost. Mm -hmm. I yep. can't, I can't, I can't have that. I've got nine children, nine. Yeah. And I don't think, I'm, supposed, I'm not supposed to be out here. I mean, nobody's, nobody's right. supposed to be out here. Yeah, this ain't fit for nobody. You know how they say like. Some people are comfortable, some people are okay with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not okay with it. I think at times we all sort of get comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Or, familiar pain. Or endure it. Yeah, exactly, familiar pain, yep. I had four years clean. But for the wrong reason, for a man. Mm. Don't do it for the kids. Don't do it for the man. I did it for the kids. Fought DHS. Got my kids back. Got overwhelmed. Got bored. Used. Yeah. Did it for the man. Didn't work out. Used. Yep. It's gotta be for me. Yep. Yeah. That's the. That's the way it is. Unfortunately. I'm too old. So, um, you out here? Are you taking dates to? To make money or? And it's hard because okay. it's guys out here hurting girls. Yeah, it's, that's what I was gonna. It's bad. It's, that's it's, what I was alluding it's to. It's really bad. And, you, and what, what got me is I'm slipping because I didn't see it coming. Three times in a row in one month. Gunpoint. Three of them guys. Back to back. Wow. You can't slip out here. You yeah. Yeah. You this can't. is the wrong place. They didn't see it coming. They were ordinary, normal looking men. Yeah. No red flags, no red flags, no red signs, no warning signs. No nothing. Just and they just pull a gun on you? Wow. I can't figure out which, and they're normal men. Like, they seem yeah. normal. Like, so what do you do then at nighttime and then the daytime you drive around with your family? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Like, what do you get out of that? What do you get, what, what? Yeah. I don't understand, what you get out of like, one guy told me and I'll make sure I, maybe I'll pay you when we're done. And he actually did it. Like, what do you get out of forcing somebody or yeah. taking something? That's and see, that's scary because that's something that that's not going to be like a changed behavior. In that. That's when it's worse. Exactly. The more they get, the more they exactly. get away with it, the more comfortable they get. The more it's like it's like abusive man. Yep. First a smack, then a punch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then a kick, then a joke. Yeah. It's like it escalates. Yeah. The more they get away with, the more they're going to do. He's very pretty. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> He's very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Damn! Hey. But he's a good guy. Thanks. See, the reason why I say that is, knowledge is power. I always say that, knowledge is power. Same. You spread yeah. knowledge. It's a, it's a lot of new girls. It's a lot of new girls, a lot of young girls that don't know a thing, and they're asking us questions. Uh, what do you do in your car? Or what do you do this and what do you... What I do is, I pick the spot, I make them think they're picking it, and I walk back, you're not driving me back. Why? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna rob me on the way back. One guy said he wants gas money. So he speeds up, he locks the door, unlock it. He locks it, unlock it. I had to tuck and roll, I had to tuck and roll. I think back last time I spoke to you, you were telling me about that. That's crazy. Like. So you're saying you've seen a lot of young girls lately? Um, and here's the thing, I've seen a lot of girls disappear lately. Yeah. And what's that smell? It smell, it's a smell. Yeah. Around. Yeah. I. Listen, I'm my afraid. wife was saying that uh, the last time we was down here. She's it's like, yo, it's just the smell that you smell. Right. It's yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're doing all these digging around and yeah. building stuff. They're going to find some stuff. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. We say, yeah I, I say that all the time, that there's plenty of bodies in this tall so grass sad. and in the bandos yep. and all that shit. There's bodies all over here, you know. It smell. What's the yep. smell? It's scary, y'all. It is. It's exactly. scary. Because that's a new smell. And, and, and it's always stunk with that. Man, man. That's yeah. the smell I can't, I can't. It is. Pinpoint. It's a, yep. It's the smell you just don't forget. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to wait around to find out what it is. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yes. 
I'm so blessed my kids are going the opposite way. They're not following my tracks. They're going the opposite way. Yep. The opposite. Yes. Going the other way for me. If I have to leave them alone so they have a chance in life, then so be it. Yeah. I will not taint. They're already stressed out worrying about me. I'm not going to let them see it. Right. They don't have to see it now. I, I agree. I'm getting gray hair. <laughs> You're still beautiful. Yes, you are. You I are. So. You carry it well. You, know, you, you carry you know, it very well. You know, that's that's, street beat. that. that's the that's you know the lifestyle will make I'm you feel streets. like that. Yeah. I make myself go to sleep. Mm. I make myself. Yeah. Because if you don't, your body's gonna just conk out on you. Yeah. Which it has done. Yeah. yeah. I'm just walking in boom. Yeah, it's, it's time. It's time. Yes, you, you are beautiful and you definitely you. Yeah. deserve not this. It's yeah. time. You deserve it's time. to be treated right and respected. It's time. It's time. It's this time. The signs are there. It's time. Yeah. yeah. I agree well. I thank you. I seen you. I just wanted to stop and say hello. Yeah, to he was you. telling me. He's uh, like, Oh, I know that girl. She I heard I'm an in star. I heard my YouTube star. <laughs> no, that's good. I, but you I see, you get all positive comments. You know what I mean? People, I haven't looked at it, but I want to spread the knowledge. You I can see it. Spread it. Yep, just you'll, spread it. You'll see it. Make sure it's right. Yep. It's like correct information. Yep. Just if you have any thoughts and coming out here, mm. just go on the internet, look and see how it is. It's not a lie. It's not a joke. Just don't do it. That's okay. what I'm saying. Just don't do it. Do something. Get some therapy. Because we got everybody praying on us out here. Sad part is, if the men don't get you, the women get you. Mm. The women we see every day. And I tell them all the time, listen. I was at the women's center. We have a women's center. It's the greatest place on earth. Listen, you go in there, you get clothes, you get coffee, you get food, you get rest, you get you get rest, you can rest. It's like just for women, right? Right. And I'm looking around today, like all these faces I know, like all these women, we all sleep with the same men. Oh mm. uh, yeah. It's nasty. Mm -hmm. I make sure I use kind. Of, one girl, can I get graphic? I don't want to get graphic, right? I, one girl goes, I told the man not to come in my mouth. I said, wait a minute, where's Where's the condom? Yeah. 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 If you do that without a condom, you yeah. might as well have sex without a condom. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Bottom line is, the girls would, we, I'm saying we, were desperate. Yeah. Desperate, we need money. That's what I, yeah. yeah. And, and that's why these men are so, they just cry. Because a lot of girls, like, sometimes I gotta take what I gotta take. And, and it's, it's, it's dangerous. So get therapy, talk to somebody, um, call women abuse line. Reach out there. There's services there. There are is help there. If you don't know, call City Hall. Ask questions. Go on the internet. There's help there. Do not come out here if you're feeling lonely. If you're feeling scared. If you feel like you don't fit in. There's somewhere you do fit in, but it's not here. It's not here. No one fits in here. I I agree. No 100%. one. Well, no one. Volunteer. Do something. <laughs> yeah. Be safe. Yes. All right. I wish you the best of luck. Yes. And um. Thank you, sir. I hope that, you know, that that everything goes your way, man. I, I always enjoy food. speaking I with food. you. I make sure I yeah. buy food. I do. I, I always enjoy speaking with you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. You know, And I when I get you. clean, I'm going to come back. On Absolutely. Stuff. Yeah. 100%. 100%. I would love to. Yeah. Yes. 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 You look me up. My email is right on the I'm channel. I'm to help somebody. Yep. Yes. Exactly. I'm, I'm still alive because I'm meant to do something. I'm meant to help somebody. Absolutely, you are. I am. Absolutely. Oh, and you deserve this opportunity yep. that you're gonna. So, so take it. Yes, you as well. Very pretty. <laughs> you thanks, too. Yes, All right. Have a good day, sister. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. All right. So you see, she's. I did. So the first interview I did with her, I put it out already. I have another interview that I did with her that I didn't put out yet. And it's not so much an interview as it is me listening to her talk. I'm going to put that one out. Um, but I always enjoy speak. Yeah, she was holding a pipe. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know. Unfortunately, that's, that's nothing new down here. You know, that's, you know, that's every day. 
Yeah, that that absolutely that was a pipe in her hand. Uh, that's you know that's. It is. It is what it is. You know, every like day. Gonna... Yeah. To me, I listen. That that type of stuff doesn't matter to me. Um, if I tell her, yo, can you put a pipe away? Or if I was to tell her, if I was to not speak to somebody because they have a pipe in their hand or they got a, a needle in their ear, I'd be skipping over damn near everybody. Honestly. They walk around, you know, yeah. people down here, they walk around needles. Yeah, in loaded, mouth. ready yeah. to go, loaded. In mouth, you know, you needles know. With, with fentanyl, dope in them, loaded and full of blood, ready to go. Um, so, you know, for me, I, I, I understand. Um, you know, that's not going to make me look at her any differently. Yeah, yeah, I, and I, I don't, I didn't think people were judging for that. Some people were just asking, you know, out of curiosity and not knowing. Um, so, yeah, the, the women have, the women are going through hell down here. That's my next, like, video documentary that I'm putting out is in regards to uh, prostitution down here. That's the next one I'm working on. So, maybe about a week it'll be out. Quinn, what's up? Uh, about a week and it'll be out. Um, but that's the next one that will come out. And, and women that, I, I would say most of the women down here, I don't want to say all, because not all, but most of the women do, do trick down here. And yeah. unfortunately, it's one of those things I feel like where you lose so much of yourself yep. in doing with so. those behaviors yep. you know you literally lose so much self-respect and yep. your self-worth so you know when you finally get off the streets it's one of those things that you have to work very hard yeah you still have that that mental baggage um you know yeah nestor yep nestor's in puerto rico he's clean now actually Yeah, I don't know. Some people... Did I, Marlita? What? She said I just passed. But this... See, it's... It's, uh... It's... I'm not... I don't see things the same time you guys see them. Do you know what I mean? It's delayed. Yeah. I don't see things. Like, if, if I say something, I don't... I don't see it the same time as you guys. Exactly, Ashley. And a matter of fact, Ashley, I would like to speak to you for that documentary, Ashley. Yes, Justin. I would like to speak to you for that documentary, Ashley, and get some input on that. Yes, speaking of Puerto Rico, prayers for Yes, Puerto Rico. prayers for Puerto Rico. They just um, had a hurricane there. Mm -hmm. Fiona, I believe it yeah. was. Exactly. Oh, somebody pop bog, pop pog. Somebody said, I said, yo, describe things for me. And they say, yo, you ever play that video game? Grand Theft Auto? That's what it's like. Donald Lehman. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Donald. I think it's harder for the women to get clean, to be honest with you. If I'm being honest, I think it's harder for the I think they go through more. Her name was Darlene. The women go through more stuff than, than the men do. Um, women, you know, not saying that men have it easy or that women have it easy, but women, women go through different type of trauma when they're out here in Kensington, in my opinion, you know, um, But not to say, you know, it's not hard. It's yeah. hard for anybody. Yeah, I just think women have different different problems than men do. You have to 
think women get, you know, and not saying that men don't, but women, more times, it's more women who get, you know, sexually assaulted. Yeah, that type of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, I seen Dr. Oz was here. To be honest with you, man, that, that, you know, hopefully I'm wrong, but I feel like that shit is all for the lights and the cameras. Uh, politics. You know, he's running for Political. office, so of course he's going to be here. Um, that sort of goes without saying, you know. Um, and y'all know how much I'm down here. So if somebody really wanted to put in work, it, it's not really hard to do. You could fucking pick a spot, any spot, and find somewhere to to help out. You know, there, there's help all over the place that's needed. You know, you could look. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Um, please hit that like button, y'all. We got almost 400 in the chat. We got 200 likes. So please hit that like button. Please and thank you. Kina, what's up? We are well. Hopefully you're doing well. Also, um, we're doing good. We were actually... We were supposed to... Yeah, we were going to be home tonight. right now, but... We kind of had a little... Uh, we had a little... Uh, family emergency somewhat and had to make a detour exactly tara that's a, that's a good way of putting it i feel as though people think they're not they're not worthy and yeah. i feel people think like that also about themselves uh -huh. i feel like people after they're out here for so long they sort of become part of the landscape and are like well maybe i don't deserve better you know right I sort of agree with that also, that they and, they and get you, that outlook. You got to think, like, people be just, I mean, people pass people on the streets here, like, they're nobody. And you got to yeah. think, that is somebody, someone. Yeah. That's somebody's mother, father, brother, sister. Yeah. They're literally you know, step over bodies. Literally. Here. Literally. Yes. When I say step Walk over bodies, over bodies. I mean, they literally step over bodies like they are just and they're and yep. frank was saying you know they are that to, to them yep. that is a nobody yep. you know they, they're part of the landscape they look at them just like they look at a fire hydrant unfortunately and it's so it's so crazy you know and, and then i also i try to look at it from their point of view so whenever i see somebody act a certain way i always try to look at it from their perspective yeah, 100%. And be like, okay, if this was my neighborhood, right? And I had, if I came out of my door and I see all this every single day, would I feel the same way? Probably, I probably would. But I pray that I wouldn't lose that empathy to see them as human beings. I might be frustrated, I might be upset, but I pray, what's up, Jessica? Jessica says hello. Hello, Jessica. I pray that I don't lose that empathy and view them as human beings. That's the one thing to me that is more important than anything, and right? Just watching when Frank and I first came out, we were watching over that woman you guys all saw in the very beginning. And literally, yeah. we watched people like person after person after person yep. walk by walk this by woman, her. not not take a second glance yep. i and mean literally not take a second glance at her yep. and the majority of them that walked past her they weren't addicts no they and weren't. then there was this one he, he was an addict he was a homeless guy we spoke to him he's the only one that asked her said yo are, are you, you okay yeah. and i was like damn so i pulled down the window and spoke to him and i said thank you for checking on her he's like yeah he's like you know i always try to check on people and I had a nice pair of sneakers and we gave him the sneakers and I was like, you know, see how when we do good shit, good shit happens, you know, and it, it made his night. And, you know, he, he wasn't checking on her expecting anything. Right. It was just nice to sort of reward him, I guess. You know, and, and we get so comfortable. Look, she's just wandering in the middle of the street. You know, she has no idea where yeah. she's at. Um, 
So, you know, and a lot of times we don't realize that there's a whole world out there outside of our little bubbles. This one person, Sober77, they're like, Kensington is like always the same thing, same block selling, same yeah. addicts. It's same like Groundhog Day. Same, you know, cops patrolling, but that's the problem because if yep. nothing changes, yeah, nothing changes. Like, yep. you see what I'm saying? Like, it's literally like damn, Groundhog it's Day. Packed yeah, here. it's oh. so busy. What's today's date? It's the twentieth. Yes. Uh, it, it's just been. Yeah. Addicts bend in half. That's a, that's a good question. I don't, we don't, I mean, that, it's just the, their body, their yeah. response to the drug. Yep. So our bodies, when, once, when you see people nod off, that's a very, very small or early stage of our body trying to shut down so that we can't consume any more drugs. You know, we go to sleep or our body depresses so that we can't get high anymore. So we can't put any more poison in it. Um, so that's, you know, sort of what it is. It's, it's like a very small, um, overdose, maybe you could say, you know, or a very early, you know, but that's pretty much. And then look, and then you got somebody else here in the middle of the street, you know, leaning down. Oh my God. Look at this. Can you go? You know just in the middle of the street, leaning down, where you could barely see her, to be honest with you. Like, she could have easily got hit by a car. So and young. she looked so young and oh pretty. Oh my gosh, yes. She looked like she was about... Young, pretty girl. I don't know, maybe like 17, 18 years old. A little young girl. Jeez. So all this... They, they... Area they cleared out, it was all... It was all tents and stuff, and they came in and cleared all this out um, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, they'll set back up in a couple days. Um, you know, but people need places to stay, I guess, you know, and they're going to find them. So yeah. we'll go back over here and see if we see this woman. Uh, is that? No, that's not her. So she's still there. So and you gotta think when people are like that, especially a woman, that is unfortunately that's yep. like a perfect time for yep. somebody very, who wants to be vulnerable. Yeah, they're very vulnerable. Like very, very vulnerable. Somebody wants to literally take them, they could just take them. Listen, you could talk her into getting in your car, to be honest with you. You could be like, here, let me help you, let me help you, you know, and get and, her and, to and, go. We have seen that happen down yeah. in Needle Park, literally. Yep. There was a guy down there where I, I was watching him and saw some young girl and he, this guy, I could see him looking around, looking around. He's got closer to her, closer. He started like coaxing her to go yep. with. And I said to Frank, yo, yeah. you need to go over there. It was on a live guy, actually. Yeah. It was like a live from not maybe last summer. Yeah, it was last and summer. And Rachel was like, yo, go watch. It was an older guy. He was kind of, he stuck out like like a sore thumb he was a little weird and rachel was like yo that guy i've been watching him sort of hunting that girl um he was across the street at first and literally it was over the course of like an hour where yeah. he just you know what i mean he was trying to blend in but he couldn't yeah he stuck out like a sore thumb it was an older white guy very clean And I can guarantee you that's what he was going to do. He was it's, planning it's, on taking it. It's her. gotten way worse now, Sosa. Okay. Judy O'Neill, I'll look into that. I definitely will. What, what, what was uh, that? Just a, a topic for uh, a video, like rehabs. And, yeah, she's you know. still here, but I guess it's better than... Honestly, not uh, at this It gets point. it gets very very cold here. Uh, you know, it gets freezing. This is the northeast. It gets very cold. It's way worse now than it was ever before. To be honest with you, it 
you know. You know, I, I just imagine how sore she's going to be. Yeah. Like so that, that yep, exactly. So that's what people say. They wake up from these little episodes and their every single muscle in their body hurts uh, because they're like working out. Sort yeah, of, basically. You know. They're, they're sort of working out. You see her, she's, you know, she's bouncing up and down on her tippy toes and stretching. That shit ain't easy. That shit is not easy at all. Think It's like dancing all night, to be honest with you. Um, and then, and then on top of that, like, when you wake up and you're sick, you know how that is. You feel every yeah. bone in your body. Yeah. So you can hear her, she's screaming. And there's really nothing at this point that anybody could no, do. No, this to has help to her. run like, its she has course. To wear the, yeah. yeah. Like, there's nothing. Who thinks you that, can't give her a shot. You can't give thing, her something to drink. This has to run its course. The only thing that you can do is make sure she's not in traffic. Nobody takes, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Yeah. Uh, I would say this is. This could be meth, the trank, you know, stuff like that. That's, that's what I would say. You know, I would say trank, meth, you know, the xylazine, stuff like that. So you can, you can hear her, she's, she's sort of like moaning this this could be trank this could be meth k2 it's you know it varies and it's gonna have different reactions from different people you know i could do one thing rachel could do another another per yeah she's not overdosing no uh so narcan wouldn't do nothing to her she's not overdosing PCP, so they, you don't really see PCP around here anymore. You know, there's not dust. I bet you would have a hard time finding dust on it. Unfortunately, she's as crazy as it looks. She's not. She's sort of okay. She's having essentially like a very, very bad dream. But that's that's about it. She's sort of okay. Yeah, she's not, you know, she's she's all right. Sort of. Nah, short round. You can't find no dope around here. If you was to look for straight heroin, you're not finding it. You're not finding it. Yeah, as long as she's up and moving, she's all right. Nah, it's, it's not LSD, you know. Um... I, no, I think everybody knows that there's no, there's no dope around here. Everybody knows it's pretty much fentanyl and, and um, I never had this type of episode when I was getting high, thank God. But you know, but she's, I didn't use this type of stuff. She's, she's essentially having a, a bad dream. You know, that's that's sort of what it's like. This is the tranquilizer in the mix. Yep. It's, uh, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think it's it's different for everybody. You know, some people last an hour or two. Some people might last five or six. It's different. What 
is K2? Please tell K2 me. K2 is, uh, it's like a synthetic marijuana, and I don't even like to call it marijuana. Yeah, because It just, you smoke it, and it sort of looks like marijuana. That's about it. You know, it's, it's potpourri sprayed with stuff. That's essentially what it is. Potpourri sprayed with a bunch of chemicals. That's, that's what it is. Yep, spice. Yeah, there's a lot of different names to it. Tablecloth and the flowers on it. Yeah. Dinner. Did they got it see? set up. Yeah. They're having like a candlelight like dinner a out there. Dinner for two. Yep. That's why I think if no time, you know, like now is the worst time to to start getting high, you know, like now is not the time to come out and start getting high. It gets very, very, very cold out here. Very cold. These streets will be filled with snow and ice. Yeah. In, in about two months. I swear that girl, somebody sent me a picture of her. I swear that girl that we just passed, somebody yeah. sent me a picture of her. Is that the one that you posted? Reno, what's up? Damn. I need to start, like, making a folder just for people that send me because I never know how to find their pictures. How you doing, Sarah? Rich, what's up? Yeah, I had a friend that had an episode like that. It was from smoking the K2, you know, the spice, and he swore he was seeing the devil. What's up, Bobby? I'm good, thank you. And... You could never pay me to smoke that shit. H, what's up from Maine? How you doing, brother? There's a whole lot of crime here. I would say this is one of the most drug, crime, murder-infested places in America right now. Easily. You know, that, that goes without... You know, there's a lot of homicides that happen here. Um... Every, everything goes on here that you could think of. Everything. You know, from every single type of assault to homicides. There's innocent little children that get killed here on a normal basis. Um, you know, everything that can happen that you could think of that happens, happens here. Just on this block right here, right across the street, right here. There's always shootings there. You know, there's people that's been killed, you know, numerous people. Over the past year, I'd say, you know, a whole bunch of people that got killed. Right here at the bus stop, right in the front, on the side, uh, right there at that bus stop. People that get killed all the time. You know, this block, for some reason, is, and not for some reason, it's just a lot of the, the drug violence, you know, uh, is constantly is constantly uh they're going to war on these blocks you know 
Yeah, somebody's like 30 years ago, they had real age and was it was much safer. Yeah, even, listen, yeah. even back when Frank and I were, yep. when we were doing our thing, you know, back, what, seven years ago, six years ago, it was like that. Yep. It was it was much safer. Even when we first started coming down here to, you know, uh, do, do like, you know, the community work, it was it was much safer. Um, people didn't get high in front of kids. If they did see kids, they'd yell up the block. Yep. Kids, kid, you know, cover, you know. Yeah, and kids, they, and that meant you had to cover up. Yep. And, and if you didn't, yeah. usually you got told about it. Yeah, by somebody you was, else. yeah. And that's that's putting it mildly. Right. You know. Um, now it's where, now it's just it's different. Yeah. You know? It's it, it's crazy. Like to say that when people ask, what do you think could help this? And I would be like, well, bringing heroin back. You know what I mean? Like, it, as crazy as that sounds, imagine you're like, well, you'd be better off using dope. You know, there wouldn't be all this crazy shit that goes on. This wasn't going on when it was just heroin. And it's true, but that's like picking the lesser of the two evils. Yeah. You know? I, I remember when it first started like kind of changing over from heroin to to uh fentanyl and i remember the girl saying like it's it's harder you know what i mean i remember you did an interview with a girl yep. up in the up on the train mm -hmm. and she was like saying yeah like it's just a lot more fentanyl is coming in and like you know heroin's getting more scarce and yeah. within what a year yeah Listen, and I remember back in the days when heroin, when fentanyl first started making its appearance on the scene, back in 2009, 2010. When it was getting cut with fentanyl. Yeah, where the people would, you know, the guy that I used to buy from, he would tell me, yo, be careful, this has fentanyl. And it was all the, all the fentanyl was coming from Jersey at that time. And they tell you, yo, be careful. Yeah. And then it slowly started taking over and, and, and progressing. And just and, think about how people's tolerance, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like how people yeah. that were doing heroin and they just used it because it was cut with fentanyl. Now it's just straight fentanyl. fentanyl. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They could have dope and they could have a bag of straight dope and it's not going to do anything. It's, it's, it's not gonna do anything to them, to be honest with you. Well, here's Amber. I did a couple interviews with her that I'll have coming out. You know, she's so young. Yeah. And young-minded also. Why no more heroin? Fentanyl's cheaper. Fentanyl is cheaper oh, and it's easier to access. Thank you, Heaven. Appreciate you. Thank you. We were just talking about you. Yep, we were. Earlier today. Yesterday. It was, it was bad too, Heaven. <laughs> we were talking <laughs> shit never. about Heaven. I would never. We were talking shit about Heaven. No. I would never. We were just talking I, about I you. I love Heaven. She is. She's a good person. Yeah. She's to barn what you are to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. What the fuck you mean, 100%? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I know what you have to deal yeah. with, Heaven. Believe that. Heaven, you're, you're to barn what she is to me. Talking about coming to see you? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's just that a little hard nice. with, because the kids are in majors in sports. Mercy goes to daycare, so it's it's our. It is harder now, cause like yeah, our just schedules are so nuts. That's like you yeah. know, I want to spend some time with you guys, so I yeah. want to make sure it's like a decent, decent um, yeah, amount of time. Yeah, the planet. No, right. this isn't a. A lot of people. So it is. It is the Rolls Royce symbol. You know, it's mimicked off that, but it, it doesn't stand for it's, Rolls Royce. It stands for Rachel Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Um, no, yeah, We're, we had that before we got together. Yeah, it's my daughter's initials, like what we call her. But it's, you know, it's my, it's 
it's based on that design. You know what I mean? I wish I could buy a Tesla Sova. It's just too expensive. I test drove one today, the Plaid. It was beautiful. Beautiful. It was um, nice. It was so nice. I just can't spend that much on a vehicle. I just, you know, I would love to. So that means y'all can fucking share this channel and maybe I can. <laughs> um, yeah, share the channel and make this shit pop off, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Um, no. I mean, the only thing about Teslas, which I hope that, you know, they're, they become more, is like just the electric vehicles become more affordable. Yeah, you know, they're very because expensive. they are expensive, but you do have to think like what, like Frank and I were talking about, like, okay, what the payment was, and then what, you know, what, like, just say the truck payment was, yeah. and then you got to think about what, how much money he's spending in gas. Gas, yeah. So I, to I put in the truck. Yep. So I spend every time I put gas. Every so whenever I get gas, I fill my truck up. Right. That's a hundred and fifty dollars every single time. So I would probably say that's. $600 a month in gas, you know, maybe once a week. But if I'm going to Philly, uh, yeah, we did drugs together. Frank actually used to be my uh, dealer. That's bullshit. No, it's true. Um, it's very true. Yeah. We were just talking last night when we went out to eat about his... Like, literally, we've been dealing with one another for almost 20, 20 years. 20 years. This summer will be 20, 20 years. 20 years. Him yep. and I have been... 20 years that she been fucking following me around like a puppy. Yeah, right. She had been stalking the shit out of me, man. Listen. I had to get he, a restraining order on it three different this, times. But really, it was the other way around. Nah, negative. I, listen, I told her... to come my job. Yeah, I did. And to find out that he didn't even like their food. Yeah, I don't like this shit. I used to come there to see her, but I told her... I told her, I said, yo, I'm gonna, when, where are you, Marlena? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, I'm pulling over to let it catch up. Yeah, because we're like, look at on my live, or my live that I see, it's um, like, we're still back there talking, you and I. Yeah. We're pulled over. I'm a Virgo. Yeah, people knew that I was her dealer. I, Who yeah. said that? Did people know? They were like, did people know that you were? Yeah, I, I everybody. Like what? What people? Though, I don't know anybody about? in general. Oh. I guess. Oh yeah. It wasn't. I mean, a, a and I was. No, I was honestly like, uh, if you from the area, you know oh, that we're from, where we, um, I was, you know, a known addict. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that was very well known. Yep. Stay right there. Got you, Marlena. Right. Um. So yeah. <laughs> I was, listen. Well. So I told Rachel. I said, "Yo, when I told her 100 percent, she says she don't remember this, but I told her. I said, "Yo, when I get my shit straight, mm -hmm. and both of us are our lives are in order." I'm gonna come back and and I'm gonna snatch you up. I snatch you up. I may make you my wife and 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 um keep you in the basement. <laughs> That's what I meant. So now I make her my wife and I keep her in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that, and then yeah, the one I time he that. went to jail, and he was like, "Yo, like you know, let me, you know, you know, get out." I need me. some money. What's Hello? up? Bro? I need some money. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? Yeah. Oh, you look what nice. You up to? Yeah, you're brother. It is. I know. Right behind you, that's, a, that's one of them. Yeah. They just opened up a house. That's what I meant. Bro. Bro. Look, I got the goosebumps. Yeah. It's hard, run me out. I was like, you got me fucked up. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. I've been, I usually before I didn't drive up this far, but yeah, I've yeah, started yeah. little by little. Where I showed you? Yeah, Behind exactly. Her? Yep. And it's, it's, Real yeah, I'm really going to start. Real. Um, the next like video I do is gonna be about that. I've been interviewing some of the girls for the past day or two. No, and, you didn't um, go behind us. Right no, we're behind this block. You know where Danny Garcia is? Yeah. Right along there. 
right along there. I'm gonna go over there in the morning. There's a hookah store when you go straight down here. Yeah. You just turn up that one light. It's right there, all that area right there. You think they're over there now? They're all the pins around here right now. Yeah. They try to run me out like, no, I'm not going nowhere. No tell, shit. Your, tell your bitch to come suck my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you you know look that? nice. And there's yeah. something out of this car right here. Yeah, the it Lincoln. It's like a junk car. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I always try. Yes, you do. <laughs> you look beautiful. My sister lives right here. Yeah. They walked in her back door. What? Walked in. What? Yes. That's what I'm saying. We were just out here, just me and her. Just me and her. Now my kids were raised on this car. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's too too much from one end to another. I walk it. Yeah. yeah. Every day, all day. Yeah. Wow. Wait, which which house is your sister's? This one or no, right? she's look, we live on Airdrie Street. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry about But also the second house on this corner on the side of her. Do you mind if I put you on it? I don't care. Uh, it's an apartment. Uh-huh. You see every... You know who's pregnant? You mentioned her name a little bit ago. Amber. Mm -hmm. I seen her. I did an interview with her today. I did yep. too. Um, I seen yeah, her stomach. Yeah, I question Hello. that. Yeah, I seen her. I seen her stomach. Oh, I'm about to ask her to have her baby. Yep, I seen I'm about her. To ask her. I asked her if she was pregnant. She told me, yeah. She, okay. Yeah. I didn't want to ask her because I didn't want to... You know, I, I didn't want to be wrong or anything. Right here. Yeah. They're all black dudes, nice cars, everything. Well, I've been seeing a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been up here for the past, I you know, two, three days. I, I see them. I see them. And you really can't say nothing. Yeah. Because you will not have to fight in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? But it's crazy, though. I don't care, but... Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to chase her out of something that she's, you know, you're not yeah. even renting. You're just fine. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. You're there illegally. Yeah. They're spawning. It's, a it's crazy. It's crazy, this mm -hmm. shit. They're saying you do look nice, Marlita. Mm -hmm. Of course. I do. I try. It's crazy <laughs> around here. You're going to be out yeah. in the morning? I come to be out. The kids go to Penn City. Yeah. So, so what time? Back and forth. I'm going to message you in the morning. I'm going to I'm going to message you in the morning. Because I'm going to come out. Died. It'll be October for a year. They left him in the prison dead. What? I didn't check on him or nothing. You know what? I think... I think I think I remember when it first happened that you were telling. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Because it yep. happened in you the did. district. You did. Yeah. You did tell me. I remember I asked and her. Three hours later, he was dead. To speak to her, but I think at the time she was like, "No, what I don't really the, want to speak right now." What was right the now. cause? Yeah. They're saying meth, but how can you really die off a of meth? Ask. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ask oh. her if if no way. she'd be willing to speak with me. We'll do an interview and. Her story, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody sees that shit in... In the district, you know, though, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's definitely not supposed to. It just goes to show how wild shit is. Ask it's her... It's crazy, now. I'm telling yeah. you, they don't do nothing, nothing. No, they don't. You could call up the cops now. Yeah. And it'll either be busy or you have to stay in a... Bring in. Yeah. It's like an hour straight. That, that's what I be telling them. They be like, yo, call the cops. Call the... So I say, yo, they don't do kid, shit. Yeah, they if don't If something happens to a kid, they're not going to do nothing. Yeah. yeah. No. If you don't take them personally to the hospital... Yeah. You're that, on your that, own. You're, right. You're on your own. They don't care, bro. They don't care at all. And it's a, it's a sin. Yeah. You can't even let your kids out of the plane. No. Of course. You can't. You, you No, you really... you. There is no way. There is no way that I just. Yeah, feel comfortable letting your kid. Out. I mean, look. Even I mean, if something as like now they understand, but still. But still, what if they yeah. even Somebody just says something to them? You gotta go and fight all of them. Yep. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not right. You yeah, should yeah. have respect. Because if it, if the shoe was in the other foot, yeah, you would have respect story. too. Right. Right. I'm a. Uh, I'm a message you in the morning. You can peek. And see. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, bro. You can see them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. And that big motherfucker too. Yeah. Frank, you got me fucked up. I don't <laughs> care, bro. I don't care. Like we don't care what anybody does. Yeah, yeah. Right. But you're coming in and popping me. That's right. not right. right. No, and I, I feel like there has to be boundaries. Right. That's what the thing. Said. We were just talking about that though. There, yeah. there's yeah. no yeah. Like, like, sort of. Come on. Her shit was locked. Like they was like boom. Like hello. Wow. Yeah, we had to come in three o'clock in the morning. I had to come run it down here. Damn. Wow. They don't care at all. And you would think because. And look, though, that's how somebody. Right that's how too. somebody gets yeah, shot. Yeah, that's true, right there. That's right how right somebody behind. gets shot. Yeah, hell yeah. They don't yeah. care. They don't care. Well, the the one boy, 
um, Tomorrow's. her son was here. Her son mm -hmm. put a gun on us. For real? Yeah. Um, no, but free gun locks, though. Yeah. Give your son a gun lock. Yeah, I told her give it to up. your son. <laughs> she blocked me from everything. Wow. Is that they don't like when you tell the truth. Of course. You tell the truth of out course. here. Yep. You're, you're, it's you're cool until it pertains to them. Yeah, yep. like, of course. It's, you gotta, we got to protect yep. our kids. A hundred percent. It's it's everything is, everything is, you know, the end of the world, but let it come to them. Let the yeah. shoe be on their foot. And then it's like, no, 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 no. God forbid. You know, that, you got unfortunately. the arguing with kids over basketball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool neither. Fuck no. Fuck no. Kids. 13, 14 year old yes. kids. Arguing with pimps. Because they're, a ball hit their car or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't care. They and don't like, care. this is, no, and this is like a perspective of somebody that has to, like we were just talking to about like how it's different when you got to live down yeah, here. Exactly. You know what I mean? And exactly. you, you but have to. if you to look at that street more than any streets around here, you'd be like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's the, the block's clean. You don't see no works, nothing. Yeah. They right. run around, you know what I mean? Certain people will come out and they'll clean it up. It's, at nighttime when they all go in, they just let them yep. wander off on the block. Yeah, you know how many times people were on her little patio thing, just knocked the fuck out because they got to go through the alleyway to get into apartment. Wow. You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. Wow. You can't even let your daughters walk to the store because yeah. people will pull over and try to pick them up. Yeah. 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 I would, listen, but that Nobody shit. speaks about that, though. But when I speak about it, yeah. everybody wants to come at me, though. I walk my, I walk highly. Yeah. Highly around here. I don't give a fuck. Right. No straps, no nothing. I don't have nothing. Right. You can tell I don't have nothing. Cigarettes. Yeah. My phone. That's it. Mm. It's these hands too. I got yo. <laughs> that's mm. one thing. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a message you in the morning and ask your sister. And even if not, fine. You know that's she cool. Wants, she wants to. But if so, I'll I'll come get with y'all in the morning and um. We'll sit down because I'd like to bust it up with you too about you know stuff like that. You. Your your daughter you walking around. I'm, I'm around. I'm yep. around. I'm here. I see might it. be in a cut, but I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you turn yeah. around. Get right back out. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, you just passed me again. Yeah. I know. I was I like, where is she? I was like, they see me. Though. They know I, they can't see me. Yeah. I can't. I, I did not bright. see I'm you. I'm always bright, no matter what. <laughs> Hi, no matter. Me, all proud. <laughs> you see me? I'm, I'm about to get a tattoo, rainbow bright. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, different colors. Yeah. Breaking it up. Yeah. Always match though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wrong I know. That. I see the purple in your hair. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I just did that a few minutes ago. Yeah, it looks good. I like the purple. I like that little bit of color. Around here. <laughs> that ab though, that ab is vicious. Yeah. 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 It's vicious. It's, yeah. it's crazy, man. People don't realize people, it. People like girls are not even from here. Like not. Oh even yeah, from I know. Here. I know. You know how many Everybody. girls are like that? Their parents say they're, they're missing. Yeah. I'll send them a location where I send you. Yeah. And they'll be like, for real? I'm like, yeah, go get them. Yeah. Jesus. Like, actually, location of how to yep. get there and everything. Well, and that's, I mean, I get it. Like, if they're over age. They, but. but like you're 12 years at old. Least, oh, uh, my God. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I would lose my old, mind. Like, Yo, I looked at my daughter. I was like, see? I was like, see what you got? And you see what she don't have? You don't. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. Count your blessings. Yeah. Count your blessings. Huh. It's crazy. It's crazy. I see it all. I see I it all. I bet. All right. We, I'm going to go back over there. All right. All right. I'm going to shoot you a message in the morning. Here. It'll be I early. Yes, right. be safe. You yes, too. be I'm safe, watch right? Your Absolutely. Because you never know. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Know. Likewise. Yeah, same. All right. I'm about to go. This car's about to sneak up. All, all right. right. It's good seeing see you. you. Bye. So... Those of y'all that know, that's Marlita. That's that's my homie. Um, she good people, man. Good people. Yeah. Um, you know, it's think about that. Where she said, "I can't even send my daughter out to the store because there's guys trying to pick her up." And her daughter's young. I mean, yeah, she's like visibly. what? You could tell. You could tell teen. she's young. Yeah. There's Amber, and she's pregnant. Yeah, just found that out. You know, Which we did pregnant. have our suspicions, but you know, you don't ever want to. What you yeah. always say, assuming gets you in trouble. Yeah. So th there is. I seen Jamila just say she don't see a lot of black people. 
So the 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 majority of people out here is white. Yeah. Um, that's the majority. Then next, I would say black, and then last would be Spanish. Um, but they're all out here. You know, they're all out here. Um, Ghetto Press, what's up? Please hit that like button, y'all. We got a uh, 5:30, and we got 300 and something likes. Please hit that like button, please and thank you. That's how we get more people to the channel. If anybody that doesn't know how to hit that like button, all you got to do is hit that X in the right hand corner, go out of the chat, like the video, and then come right back. Yeah, not a lot of Asians, Ashley said. No, very few. So I, I, you know, I have my opinions on why we don't see different races. I, I definitely have my opinion and my theories. Certain races, it's in their family, you know, like Asian race is very, they're very proud, uh, honor your parents, you know. Um, yeah, it's like a culture thing. I hate cops. <laughs> okay. Thank you, brother. I hate cops. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I seen, hold on, hold on. I seen uh, heaven say that, but I didn't understand. I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? I hate cops. <laughs> she said, hi, I hate cops. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. I was like, what the fuck yeah, is she talking about? Yeah, and then about? I did look up to see yep. what I saw. I didn't, I didn't put it all yeah. together. Hi, yeah, I just got hooked on the street. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, Ashley. That, you know, that happens. I think the majority of us, it's just as much as it's the <laughs> drugs, it's the streets. You know, we get addicted to everything. Do you get pimped? out there too well yeah you yeah. do you can or you know i some people just they don't have a pimp yeah. so if you run without a pimp that's called you know being renegade that pimps they're not as heavy out here as they are in other places right. but they're definitely present only here you know um other places you know like on the west coast you can't go out pretty much without a pimp you know right um where here that that's not the case here you can go out without one. if you New want New York they have more yeah pimps, same like. thing aren't I afraid for my wife no listen I have in order for something to happen let me just say that in order for something to happen to my wife one of my children somebody anybody that's with me um it has to happen to me first I had to be dead in order for something to happen to my wife. Anybody that's with me, you know, it's something, you know, it's, it's, I'll, and I'll know. tell my wife, go, hop in the car and go before, you know, like that, that's, you know, not saying that it can't happen, right? but it could definitely happen. Uh, but believe you me. And you have to think, I, I mean, I use, I mean, I, I have, I don't know. I, this pretty aware yeah and this this I, stuff I, ain't I, new to rachel you know um you know she she's not a girl scout thank you val yeah she's streetwise she's you know she knows what to look for um you know and and Stuff happens to innocent people all the time. Stuff happens to people that have good intentions all the time. Bad stuff happens to them all the time. So it's not like we're immune to that. We're exempt. We're definitely not. But, you know, I try to just be mindful of the way I carry myself, the predicaments that I put myself into. Um, I, I just try to be very mindful. You know, and, and the thing is, is, you know, uh, of course I can, I can protect myself, right? Of course I can. I can defend myself. That's right. But happened. nobody's exempt to becoming a victim. Nobody. Look, right. they, they kill famous people all the time. Nobody's exempt. They're fucking, nobody's exempt to that stuff, you know? So, 
you know, yeah, Rachel is my co-pilot. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. She's she's my my co-pilot throughout life. Sometimes I be wanting to hit that fucking ejector seat on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Bullshit. Look at that Tesla. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that girl about to jump in. <laughs> so I went and test drove a, a nice Tesla today. Oh my god, that thing was so beautiful. So beautiful. Um so expensive. No, I, I can't, I can't, I can't spend that much on, I, I, I can't do it, you know, I, I can't spend that much on, on a car, um, I can afford it, but I just, I don't know, I, I don't know, like dope, it drives itself, cool, you know, all that shit, but I don't know, yeah, they drive themselves, yep. Um, save on gas. So that's that. I'm gonna have to do a little more homework and see just exactly how much I would be saving on gas, um, insurance, all that stuff before I really. Yeah, I know the insurance is high on that. Make a decision. That's the only thing. To yeah. Do. So, we'll see. But then I drove. I drove a Hellcat Durango. Oh man! I said he went from one one extreme to the yep. other, one with no engine, and one and with then with like the fucking fucking top. three engines. <laughs> yeah, yeah a, a jet engine, <laughs> and that's the one I like. That's more my speed. You know, that's more what I need. Exactly, and see, I understand that that vehicles, you know. In the big scheme of things, vehicles are are a liability. Teslas, though, are an asset. They keep their value very, very, very firm. You know, they're they're. You know, you can buy it, use it, and still sell it for what you got it for. You know, that is. They park themselves, so I didn't know that. Yeah, they drive themselves, man. Well, I know they yeah. drive themselves. Well, this one, but... I can park myself in here. This truck will park itself. I think your car parks itself, too. Well, I mean, it directs me. No, no it'll park. I gotta... This truck right here, that button right there, makes it park yeah. itself. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think your car also. Well, I know, like, my car will drive itself on the highway. Yeah. Rachel's car will drive itself on a highway. It won't, it does like, on, not on these streets. It no. has to have, it has to be a highway where it has, like, the lines and stuff. It'll, it'll drive. Which is a good thing, but I will tell you, when you're tired and that thing's driving itself, yeah, it's, it's easy to, like, kind of fall asleep. So. Yeah, it's easy to Which forget is, that like, you're yeah, driving. Yeah, exactly. So you where it'll remind you. Alert. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll tell remind you, take, you, a, you break. take a break. <laughs> and it'll show you a coffee. <laughs> it shows you a little coffee cup, it says. Oh yeah, Honda Mommy. See, that's that's I was looking, it was an all black Hellcat Durango. So nice. And um that's the one I I want. Yep, R R I P uh P M B Rock. Yep. So that just goes to show you nobody's exempt to anything. Right. You know. Nobody's exempt to anything. Granted, there's stuff... There's stuff that we can all do to help prevent or keep ourselves out of bad situations. But, you know, bad situations happen. You think he left the house that day thinking that was going to happen? No. Yeah, that's, just, that's crazy. No. Think about that. You know? and, and maybe he shouldn't have went where he was wearing, went where he went. With all that jewelry on, but you think about it, you work hard for it. You should be able to wear it wherever exactly. you want. I was just gonna say that. But you should be able to. Yeah, but you that's should. not a reality, though. You know, you think about it, that's not really a reality. I can come down here with my jewelry on, and you're waving a stake in front of 
hungry ass dogs, sooner or later one of those dogs is gonna take a bite of that steak. And they'll be highly disappointed. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you you think about that. Um, Yeah, so he did post his location. His his girl posted it. They said he posted it, you know. It's just not smart stuff to do. It's not the, Barn, what's up, Barn? How you doing, brother? I hope you have a good night at work. Hope you're having a good night. Oh, yeah, people sleep in the garbage here all the time. I did have, and that shit is crazy. You know, where they're gonna start, they're gonna start letting people go for certain crimes, you know, like they're not gonna lock them up. That shit is crazy. Everything up to like attempted murder and all that shit. Where I'm just like, God damn, man, where was all this when I was getting in trouble, you know? Does my arm hurt where I used to shoot up? No, not at all. It would it would get uh sore every once in a while, but I remember every once in a while it would, but not now. Years ago when I did I well I, I had to go to a treatment and my arm had abscessed on it and that shit I couldn't sleep for weeks so already you couldn't sleep because of coming off everything yeah, cause it hurt it was oh it was so painful and like automatically when I sleep I would put yeah put your arm yeah I would sleep on it and I would wake up doing that because it that shit hurts yeah. so bad so when I see these people with these wounds I, I know how that hurts but there does come a time like where your nerves it stops hurting because it's just you know the nerves are dead and yep yeah we're not we don't really go to Newark New Jersey because we're not we don't we're not like familiar with that yeah. area Islamo yes so that it does remind me of the purge to, to be honest it does Did you guys deal with abscess back? Yes, when it was, yes. I, abscess when it was uh, heroin, not fentanyl. When Frank and I were getting high, like years ago, it wasn't fentanyl, it was it was heroin. Um, obviously, you know, when the, we had a relapse, it was a little different, but. But yeah, it was, it was heroin. But even then, I remember, I remember when I was younger and I was, I was sick and I literally got high with heroin that I knew was cut with rat poisoning and made me sick. But I just didn't want to feel dope sick anymore. So I still got high with it knowing mm. that I was going to. Feel, feel like sick that. from it but it wasn't like a dope sick because yeah. it still had something in it it was hard it was bad thank you Tina. i don't know they used to do some really, they, they cut with everything man yeah, I found out like from the per because I was like, yo, that shit is no good. And they were like, oh, yeah, we found out, it, you know, unfortunately, you know, have rat poisoning in it. I was like, what? So I still had it. And I, <laughs> stupid me, still did it. Hey, hey, Honda, are you in Newark? Is that where you're located, Honda? Oh, yeah, she's in New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think going to jail helped me that my addiction didn't get way worse or as bad as it could hell yeah but i 
I was getting high in jail. I was getting drugs in jail. You know what I mean? I was having packages of, of drugs in jail, so. Congratulations, Michael. I'm from there, it's so close by, huh? Yeah. He's been to a couple jails. What jails have I? Uh, a lot of them. What the fuck? A lot of them, unfortunately, more than I should have been. Um, well, not a lot of county jails. My jails was all state. state penitentiaries. I've only been to a couple county jails. It's just crazy to think of, you know, when people are, you know, people think, well, why do people do stuff like that? You know, people that aren't addicts. And then I guess us people that are in recovery and, you know, people that are in the channel that also are in recovery, it's like, you know, we know how that feels to do things that we necessarily wouldn't do, but yeah. our addiction just took us that way. Actually, yeah. was this the street that... Don't you remember years ago when you guys? This I used to live up? on this street. Well, don't you remember where were we? And what? We, when I went in? Yes, and you came out yeah. and I was yeah. out. And well, it was up there. It wasn't back here. It was. It was up here. Yeah, I thought so. I used to live back there. My homie Ralph used to live up there. So years ago. Um. Frank smacked the sh We were getting high. So 15 years ago, right? We were out here. We were getting high. I was, I was, uh, picking up, you know, I was, I was busting some moves. So I went to go see one of my homies. Um, and I ran in, I was in the house for, you know, maybe like five minutes. I just went to go see him real quick. I come out in the car <laughs> and Rachel I should be laughing. was not like not at all, but not a regular not off. She was like ODing. Yeah. You know, I came to the car. I started shaking her to wake her up. I'm shaking her. I'm like, yo, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. She don't want to get up. And I slapped the bullshit out of her a couple times. I listen. I, I only knew once. I slapped her so hard, and I'm listen. When I tell you, he's heavy. -handed. I'm very, very, very heavy-handed. Like I can't hit the kids. I'm, I'm very. My hands are very heavy. I smacked the shit out of her so hard, her earring <laughs> flew off, and went like it. It hit the back windshield, and I heard it like ding, ding, ding. And like bounce around a couple times. Um, and then granted, you know, like a, a couple seconds later, she ended up coming yeah. too. But I was like, oh, please don't tell me she's going to fucking die in this car. Uh, they know she's here with me. You know, that's like all I was thinking in my head. I was like, damn. Yeah. Just, I you know. think about like the crazy stuff. And then I think like. It's so crazy how we were. Yeah, you know, that so was how normal. How we are. Yeah. Yeah. Prayers for your daughter, Mama Davis. Damn. Yeah. I was just like, man, you know. I can't imagine, you know, being a parent. Um, I know what I put my mom through. And I just can't imagine. I, I literally cannot imagine. It has to be one of the most... It's such a helpless feeling because yeah, you know you, can't, you can't do, do anything. anything. You know, it is, and yep. you can't. You yeah, really you can't. can't. You, you could just hope for the best. You know that not the best is going to happen, but you're hoping for it. I mean, you know, it, and there's such a fine line with enabling and helping, yep. and you know, it, it's 
I, I, I feel for all of you guys. I don't, I hope I never ever have to ever feel that. And I wouldn't, I, I'm, I don't know. I just, I feel so sorry for you. <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely. All you think about is getting high. So we got high later on that evening. Yeah. You know what I mean? Together. Uh, after, you know, after going through that, where I thought she was dead. <laughs> you know, I was like, this fucking girl's going to die on me. You know, that's what was going through my mind. It's kind of crazy because, I don't know. It just is. I'm just grateful we're not there anymore. Yeah. And, and really, you know, we talk about this all the time. It's like it, one wrong decision, one yep. bad decision. Very, very small slip up. Just a bad decision. And we're back there very quick. Yeah. Very quick. It doesn't take much. Uh, we're not staying out too much longer on the mommy. And hold up. Billy got a, a good question here. Do you think you guys fueled each other's addiction at all when you were using together? That's honestly amazing. Uh, I don't necessarily think. Um, I, I don't think. I feel like it kind of, it wasn't, I don't want to say fueled. I don't think that by any means. Um, now, mind you, when when that all happened, we Frank and I were yeah, yeah. We chose to not be together until both of us were out of me. Yeah. For those reasons, because yeah. there would have been times like if yeah. we were together, there would have been too much bullshit. Yeah. You know when when we were more or less friends. You yeah. Know, so that lady's still over there. You know, this has been about two hours. She's still there. Joe Holmes, what's up? We'll go over to her real quick, but she's still there. I honestly feel like there's times that we do the opposite, though, too being together I feel like we can talk each other out of things you see what I'm saying I feel like that yeah or we know when each other is like okay you're you're in a fucked up mood which yeah. can always lead to something else yeah we understand I feel like we understand each other on a different level than a lot of other people in relationships do because we've been through a lot of bullshit together and separate uh so i feel like we know each other you know fairly well you and know, we've been through you know both of us have been through a lot together and separate i i guess i would have a question for somebody that's that i guess is with somebody who's not in recovery like because i think about like what if what if there were things that like say you never used with me and you yeah. didn't know me yeah and then i had it like you and i got together and i had to explain to you like things that maybe i've done yeah. or things that maybe you know what i'm saying yeah. like i don't know like would you or wouldn't like i don't know i i i understand it a little previously i would have you know previously before becoming an addict i thought it was just a choice I 100% thought it was a weakness. I thought it was just a choice. You know, that's 100% what I thought because I had my mother, my father, you know, all my right. family was addicts. So I thought it was just a choice. I was like, oh, these people are weak. They're weak. If they want to get clean, they could get clean, but they're weak. So. She's 
still there. She's calmed down a little bit, but she's still there. Yeah, that does make sense, Billy. I see what you're saying. Like, it's hard to get back to where she's like, I know I've personally been in a relationship with someone who once we used together, it seemed to open Pandora's box for us and we couldn't get back. That makes sense. You're saying addiction is hereditary. I think it can be. 100%. Yeah, I, I there's there's proven. I feel like it can be. I think it's both. Yeah. Yeah, I guess anybody that is in recovery and then they got with someone who wasn't, you know, I guess that's a question that I have for someone. Yeah. Southwest Detroit. Oh my gosh, my freaking nose is so stuffed up. <laughs> my father was a So you, she, she's calmed down a little bit. Um, yeah, she. Question <laughs> alone, huh? She's like, chicks grooving to her own beat. She is like maybe slowing down a little. It's getting uh, harder for her to like stand up on her own. Yeah, I think she's. Nothing happens if I, I, you know, I go talk to her. I'll ask her if she's okay. I was out there talking to her earlier. Yeah, they. She really. They do need help. Everybody needs help. Um, where do they go in the winter? Well, some people they stay they still stay on the streets. Um, there's shelters sometimes that they'll stay in. Or, you know, a lot of sometimes people will go to treatment facility. All, all I have is water. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it'll be like freezing down here, snow, ice, and people are still staying on the streets. I mean, you think about it, when you're an addict, that lifestyle does not stop because of the weather. It, it doesn't, like, it, that's, an addict getting high, that is literally like, they, you know, you have to, it is a, it is an essential. Definitely lonely. Lock the car and put this window up. I'm gonna walk across the street and grab her. Uh, I'm gonna walk across the street and grab her soda. I thought okay. we had more water, but we don't. Oh, Just okay. Lock. Um, I don't think down here many of the shelters. Uh, drug test to be honest I could be wrong maybe some of them but I I don't think all of them do but they do have um 
rules and regulations though that I, that I know sometimes it's like you know you have to be in at a certain time or you know which I know not everybody wants to follow those rules so they choose not to stay there yeah I know Yeah, or people get kicked out. Yep, you're right, Honda Mommy. Yeah, addiction is everywhere. And people, you know, I know people do not always um, see it that way. Um, but, you know, anybody can become addicts, you know, talking to people down here, you know, you run into people that, you know, they, they had successful careers um, and they felt, you know, they, they became addicts, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, through, you know, doctors prescribing them medications and, you know, sometimes not. Damn, Shelby, I grew up in a trap house and this is still so, so sad to see. Yeah, it is, it is very sad. I'm sorry you had to grow up in, in a trap house too because that, you know, no place for a child. Uh, I know I can speak for Frank um, on this because he has shared this numerous times. For him, this helps him. This helps motivate him to stay clean. This helps remind him that he never wants to go back. Oh, well, you know, I guess flip-flops are better than no shoes because I we've seen that. You know, somebody that has no shoes. Um, oh, from Argentina. Tam Tam, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, it, 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 that's what this is. Like literally, you know that saying that they say uh, the gateway drug or the gateway drug is trauma, really. It's trauma. That's a lot of times why people use. It's a lot of times why we feel the need to have to use to fill that hole. She's probably looking for her stuff because her stuff was um, kind of all over the place. Okay, Vancouver is your Kensington of Canada. Yeah, she definitely, definitely calmed down. I guess, you know, as we were like sitting here, it just kind of bothered me because I, I was like watching so many people, like I said, walk by her and not give her a second, a second take, like not even doing a, a like a double glance. And it was like, damn, this shit is so normal. So normal that you see this on a daily basis that it's just like you know nobody nobody even takes a second look where um where it's like you you know if you probably saw someone in your own city that was acting that way you know people would be like Damn, you know at least go over and see like what's going on are you okay because we sat here for a while and nobody you know, nobody did anything, which I mean, there's nothing that you can really do to make, besides to make sure that she stays physically safe.
it's sad some Canadian cities are turning into this. Yeah. Yeah, people are. They're very desensitized to all this. Right, Honda Mommy. It doesn't. You're right. I mean, granted, she didn't even answer because she was in such a, uh, you know, it just in her own world, you know what I'm saying? But I guess what, it just, like, nobody even took a second look at her. Uh, I'm glad so, that she's, like, better. Yeah, she's, she's with it. Her name is Sarah. She's, she was really with it. I get, I went and bought her a, a soda. She asked for something that just had some sugar in it. Um... Is she diabetic? No, she just... I yeah. think she just needed something with some sugar. Yeah, yeah. You know. She... She's all right, actually. Um, she don't remember anything. She cut her leg up, I'm assuming, by the way she was moving. She, she sounded very smart. Um, yeah. She had a necklace on. She had a purse with her. All that stuff is gone. Well, even when we first came over here, the, her stuff was laying on the ground. Yeah, it was scattered. And now it's not, so that means yep. somebody... So she said it. that it was the dope, which is fentanyl and, uh, and the tranquilizer that has her like that. That that's what she used last. Um, she's fine. She She's leaning up against the, the wall, but she's alert. I, I held the whole conversation with her. Yes. Yeah, uh um, you know, she, she, on, she's aware. And she said it was the, the tranquilizer that got her like that. So, yeah. Oh, Honda Mommy says her cousin's out here. Oh, yeah? Sorry to hear that, Honda Yeah, she said, I'm going to send you his or her pick to right. kind of keep your eye out. Yep. But, like, when you're like that and you lose all your stuff, I mean, I mean I'm glad they didn't, like, just take it off of her. Yeah. You know, but it's kind of like the name of the game. Like, that's just kind of yeah. how it goes. That, when that's a risk that you take when you come down here and get high. You know, um, that you know, all right, if I get if I get to the point where I'm out of it and I don't know what's going on, people are gonna take what I have. That you know, you know that very, very, very well. You you know that's gonna happen. That's that's a given. No, yeah, Bridget, no, I, I agree with you. Someone stole her purse. They stole her necklace. Uh, well, just how she was like, if her necklace, I don't know, she might have taken it off or ripped it. I don't know. I, I seen it on the floor. So, Because yeah, I there. told her, I think, I honestly think she, she might have ripped it off because it was on the floor. So I think she ripped it off and somebody probably picked it up. She said it's a, it's a really nice necklace that it's amber. Which is a stone. Um, yeah. She had a bracelet on that sort of matched it. But, you know, that's... that's kind of how it goes, yeah. I mean... It, I feel like down here... I mean, man, you lose your material things. Like... Oh, yeah. You know what I'm that saying? That shit is like, gone. It's, yeah. That's just... It, it, it is yep. what it is. I think the most important thing is that you're alive. I, I feel like it's like when you go to the park as a kid and you're playing with your ball and you leave it there and you go run off and you know, ah, oh, shit. You don't even go back to look for it because you know, ah, yeah, oh, it's not, not going to be, be there. there. Somebody grabbed it, you know. So that's that's sort of what it's what it's like. anything before we go on? Uh, well, what, or where are you going to stop? Are you stopping somewhere to grab something? Uh, I'm not, but if you need something. 
This would have like something to snack on. Like what? So Amber, I'll end up, I did a couple interviews with her today and yesterday. I'm going to do another with her, with her and I'm hopefully if I see her. Yeah. Mel, they could stash their stuff somewhere. They might forget where it's at or somebody might find it and steal it. You know, there's people watching everything that goes on here. There's somebody watching. Yes. <laughs> as soon as somebody comes down here. And they could tell they're new, and you could tell right away because how they're dressed, what they have, what they don't have. There's eyes on them, and there's people watching them to exploit them, to steal their shit, you know, whatever it might be. You gotta think, people people come down here, yeah, you just, know, to, just to pop too, and they never leave. <laughs> like, yep. they yeah. just never go back. Yep. Or they come down to, yeah, like Frank said, to, to be, like, they prey on people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's pregnant girls out here on these streets. A absolutely. 100%. There is. Um, you know, 100%. If you check on the channel and go and look up Kay and Jessica, they were a woman who was pregnant. I went. I took them to see their baby after it was born. Uh, I gave the baby the first haircut. You know, stuff like that. could be born to like the poorest of poor in Africa or the poorest of poor in Russia or China or America. You know, we don't choose. Maybe it was a couple weeks ago. We don't choose. Ice cream's over here. We don't get to choose who are Who's track, bunch tracks. Maybe it was a couple weeks ago I seen her. These. <laughs> Cookies are Dibs. Oh, remember when you were I might get hooked on one. Marcus, uh, I want to get a Tesla. I just, they're just expensive. I think I'm going to get Dibs. do my homework to see what I would save in gas and all that stuff and if it comes out good then maybe Somebody took a bite out of them, right? Like somebody was snatching, snagging on that bitch. 
infections, right? Yes, I believe that's I believe that's correct, Yako. I believe that is correct. I know that uh, fentanyl wears off very well. Um, right, you good? Yeah. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Uh, you get me two popcorns. I don't like the sea salt ones. Do they have the big bag? Oh, they do. Right there. I didn't see it. Let me grab one of them. I never realized until you opened it and took, took it out. Sea salt? No. Uh, how much there wasn't. There, there's not a lot? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they have... I'm so disappointed that you don't got any big My bad. Straw cost $2, you come for a straw. That's a straight fucking robbery. Sheesh! Come on, let's go, baby. Listen, I'm going to grab it. You pay the same goddamn price for a straw, you pay for a goddamn cup. You're a ball! Hey. Where do we want to travel to now? That shit came out to that shit came out of Rachel's sock. <laughs> yeah, right. It did. Crawled out of your short left your short. No, that shit that shit <laughs> came out of Rachel's. <laughs> came right out of your it short. It came right out of her panties. Like right out of her her shorts, her She's tights. Such a liar. It did. I wish I didn't like candy so much. That was crazy. 
That bitch came straight out of Rachel's drawers, man. I'm sorry y'all had to see that. Now y'all see what the fuck I gotta put up with? You know. Please. I love her to death. But when we get them fucking panty bugs, <laughs> that's her friend. She, did she get peach rings? No, she's on a different I, kick I, I, right I, now. I looked Samson. for them. They didn't have them. Uh, so that, that thing came straight out of Rachel's underwear. I got peach. And it got a name. She she names her bugs. What's one that name? Um, Devin. Devin? I thought it was Stacy. It looked like a Misty. Yeah. Trixie. Trixie. That's a Trixie. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a Trixie. Uh, yeah, that's her friend. Came right out of her, the side of her panty, crawled right down her leg, dropped on the floor for some, for some, uh, some fresh air. You know, and kept it moving. That back. girl back there, though, she's looking at, she's like, uh, I ain't never seen a roach with its legs. It's, it was broken. It was broken. <laughs> that that roach was fucked up. It was literally on its last legs. Literally. That roach had broken legs. Um, yeah, it what was... It was on its last leg. So, yes, well, we're. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and then we're about to uh, head in. Imagine what that roach has been through. It wasn't even trying to go anywhere <laughs> no it was just hanging out it's bold it's bold we had a fly in the barber shop like the past three weeks oh my god they dropped me nuts. that fucking fly was so it was like drinking people's cough damn look at this little kid out in football uniform at Aww. 10 o'clock at night that's sad he's like my son's age younger probably just came home from practice wow he's not gonna get to bed till 11 o'clock at night there's Amber. So you can see she's she's pregnant. She waved. Yeah. Maybe I'll so this morning I I bought her uh some breakfast. Some uh some Dunkin' Donuts. And I, I recorded it so you guys you know, and, and, and I'm going to put it in there where you guys can see. But her reaction to it was, you know. I wish there was more success stories. Yeah. Barn is literally the biggest one. Yes. Yep. Ashley Absolutely. is another one. Panda. Yep. See, so all down here is where they say where... A lot of the girls, where you could see, you know, the girls work. 
Well, you can see him walking up and down. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> she said you laugh. Yeah. Yeah, she said I was lying. Shoot it. <laughs> Threw them shits at the fucking truck. Like, you motherfucker, you. Alright? I'm like, you fucking asshole. And throw the fucking change out. I'm like, ah, damn. And then what? It's a fucking girl. What? A, I just gotta be like, alright. You know. Sandy, what's up, Sandy? Colin, uh, thank you for, for watching and welcome. Welcome to the live, brother. Pass Amber, I'm gonna tell her, yo, I'll see you for breakfast in the morning. That'll probably make her happy. Uh, I'm not sure, Tam Tam, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. I think about like how far she must walk, because you see her all over. Yeah. Yeah, you really she do. does nothing but walk and walk and walk. She's had the same clothes on for two, two, three days. Three days. She probably. She told me last night she just slept on a half. She probably doesn't have. Oh, she don't look like she have no cover, no blanket. Yeah, she doesn't no, have no belongings. With yeah, her. it's just her walking with shorts on. Uh. No, so, you know, nobody has any, we're out in public, you know, if we were going in somebody's house, then they would have the right to privacy, but we're out in the public, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm not going into anybody's home, I'm not going into people's businesses, I'm literally driving on a public street. Hello, Lisa. I, I know it's, I know, I see people saying stuff about like. Congratulations, Jessica. I know people are judging because of the pregnancy. I see people saying like, oh, that poor baby. Yeah. And, but honestly, you know, I'm sure she wasn't planning yep. on getting pregnant. Listen, we spoke about that today too. I, we know, spoke about that. I said, you know, obviously your goal isn't to get pregnant, right? She's like, no, because, you know, that's just another responsibility. Some men don't want to be with me. Right. You know, you know and. Well. You know, I guess it's just one of those things where it, it, it is. It's very sad. It's unfortunate. It's but even right now, say she was to <clears throat> go to treatment. You know, and get on methadone, and I or or um, what is it? Suboxone. Not suboxone. Not Subutex. Because oh. yeah, so, even if that were the case, you know, like the baby is on, like still gonna have to go through. I mean, that is better. That is better than her being out here using drugs that she doesn't know what she's putting in her body. <clears throat> but. You know, I, I guess I just try not to judge because yeah. we're never in that other person's shoes. Yeah. It's so easy to judge 
It is. It's you know, easy from to say outside. like you shouldn't do that, but yeah. it's so what, easy another to thing when outside. you're in that situation. I'm know? gonna interview her tomorrow, and I'm gonna ask her about all that. I'm gonna ask her, yo. Get yeah, his lights are, are on. Pregnant. My lights are on. Thank you, Just Barry. All right, y'all. So we're about to get out of here. We just got our snacks. Um, I'm about to go in for the night. I thank you guys for hanging out with us. I thank you guys for hitting that like button. If anybody who is in the chat who hasn't hit the like button, please hit the like button. Um, I'll be out in the morning. I'm gonna do a couple more interviews in the morning just to try to finish up this project that I'm working on. Um, I thank you guys though. Please hit that like button. Please share this with you know somebody. Tell a friend to tell a friend, you know, all that stuff. And um, I thank you guys very, very much for your support. And, and you know, the, the biggest thing is please remember not to judge people. You, you know, we might be, when people say, well, they know what they're getting themselves into. That's right. They, they do. They do. Right? But that ship has sailed. Right. You know what I mean? That ship has sailed. So I think the best thing we could do is treat them like humans. Um, we don't have to be like, now you know you shouldn't be doing that. You know, all that type of shit. We, we don't have to do that. They know, um, you know, they, they know what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing and all that stuff. Because we're our own worst credit. Yeah, 100%. Listen, we, we all have done shit that we said we would never do. We all have. We all got back in a relationship where we said, ah, I'll never talk to this month. You know, all that shit. We've all done that stuff. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody immune to that. So we've all done a whole bunch of shit that we said we wouldn't do. Some more than others, but regardless, just remember, you know, remember that that could be us or that could be somebody we love. So that's why, you know, it's, it's important that we don't judge. So thank you guys. I love y'all. Thank you guys for all the support. Please hit that like button on the way out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Stay blessed. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient. And thank you guys. Have a great night, y'all. Thank you.